Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card, Magnus and the Fairy Fir Tree. And as you can see, they're in colour, so I'd like to share with you how I did that. For the background, we're going to be using brushos, turquoise, and I've really watered that down just so that we get a nice colour wash in the background. Moss green, and that's just to do our band of trees and to add a bit of greenery to our snow ground. For stamping with Versafine Claire Nocturne, Fallen Leaves and Shady Lane. Elements, Dala Blue, and I'm using that just to blend around the edge of the card. A white Posca pen, and that's to do those little splats on the card, just to create the snow feeling. A Stardust glitter pen, just to add a little bit of sparkle to the tree and to Magnus's antlers. And white gel pens, just to help to bring some highlights to him and on the tree. For the stamps, I'm going to be using the big fairy fir tree, Snow Falls Verse, Magnus, Christmas Tree Group, and I'm using this little foliage here that comes with the Tree of Courage or the Foliage Set 1. So if I just show you, that's where we've been using the foliage from that set, just to act like little blades of grass. So, let's get started. For today's card, I'm using a piece of card that is five inches by seven and a half, and I'm using Brusho's turquoise. So I've got some made up and I've really watered it down. And all we're going to do now is just apply this halfway up our card. So I'm just going to quickly just add some colour to our card just by using this turquoise. So I'm just going to keep adding some colour here. There we go. And then I'm just going to use some water just to help blend this little bit down here, just so that we get a soft line. And then I'm just going to use moss green, puts a little bit onto my mat, and with my brush, we're just going to make some of that green up. And I'm just going to use a bit of off cut card just to see how that green is. And then all we're going to do now is just do some little flicks to act like some trees in the distance. So we're just going to do this all the way along the bottom here. Let's get a bit more of that brush house and a bit more water. And then we can just do a bit of ground here. And then we're just going to flick this upwards. Just to act like some of the trees in the distance. And you can always just 
bring that line down and make it a bit darker here and just do a bit more gentle little flicks and then we're going to give this a quick dry with the heat gun going to use a bit more water picking up some of this green and we're just going to gently just do some little bits of greenery on our ground and we can just use some water just just gently soften it there we go And then give this another dry. I've already positioned Magnus onto my card and I'm using my stamping platform to do this. So I'm going to pick him up. And to start off with, I'm going to use VersaFine Claire Nocturne. And I'm not going to stamp him solid. And what I'm going to do is, using my ink pad at an angle, we're just going to capture his legs first. So when I stamp this, you'll be able to see what I mean. There. And now I'm going to do his antlers just by flicking it and just capturing some of his head. And again, we're just going to stamp this. Now we can ink up his antlers solid now. So we're just going to follow that around. If you get any ink on his body, you can just use your finger just to gently soften it. And I think we'll just have a bit over his head here. So, let's see. Give this a good press down. And I'm going to use VersaFine Claire Fallen Leaves. And I'm just going to flick this onto him. So I'm not going to stamp him up solid. And then with a the smoothie, I'm just going to soften that so we can just build that up. So there we go. And a bit more, just using your smoothie and your VersaFine, you can do it like this if you have a trouble of um, flicking the ink pad on. And a bit more on his leg. And a bit more on his neck and head. And we're just gently building this up. So we're just watching where we need to add more ink to. So I'm going to leave him like that because we're going to use our watercolour pencils later. I've moved him across and now I'm going to use the large fairy fir tree. So I just want to make sure I've got this in the right place. I'm going to pick up the stamp. And I'm going to use pollen leaves just to do the trunk of the fairy fur. So now we can just stamp that. There. 
going to use Versafine Claire Shady Lane and with this I'm just going to capture the edges of this tree on both sides and then stamp it. And then I'm just going to go back to using the smoothie and that lovely fallen leaves. Just dump some of that over our tree just so that we've got a bit of brown and green onto it. So we're going to use the black Bronzeal watercolour pencils and we can just start to add a little bit of shading onto Magnus. So we want his leg here to be darker. And we're just going to apply that to him. And then with some water we can just work that in. Let's just get that going. And then I'm just going to create a bit of shadow just underneath him and round by the tree. Just by using this brown and want some water and we're just going to quickly just apply this to our ground and I'm just going to use a lot of water just so that we can smooth it out I'm just going to use a white uniball pen just to do some little white markings on him. So we're just going to do this over where his neck is. Just building that up around his neckline and a bit more over in areas. And we're just going to flick that just so that it creates some soft highlights on him. I want to do it on his leg as well. A bit in his ear. You're just doing some random little line sketches. I want to do some over his back here. A bit more in his ear. On his antlers. So a bit of white. And, and then we can just do his lovely head and then just smudge that down and this just gives you a nice gentle highlight on him and do a bit on his hooves then I'm going to go back to using the turquoise that we used to make the sky with and we can just add a little bit of that onto the ground. So just take off the excess so that your brush is quite dry. And this is just going to create some shadow and a bit of snow. And if it's gone a bit too harsh, waters your friend by just blending that all in. Because you want this all to be nice and soft. So we can blend that in. There we go. And we can just do a bit of gentle flicks just on his body. 
and just a little bit down onto his legs. I'll just do a bit more on his head here. Just a bit underneath his belly and don't forget to just gently smudge it. There we go. And I think we'll just put his eye in and his nose. And then you can go back to using your black and you can just help to darken some areas up. I might do a bit around with here. A bit more on his leg, I think. Just do a little bit on his body. And then I'm just going to use a white Pasca pen and we're just going to do some gentle little flicks on the tree and just use a finger just to soften it all. So we just want to create the illusion of snow on our tree. And just use your finger just to soften it. You don't want it to Harsh. There we go. And we can, with just these edges here, just soften it with some white. And all I'm doing now is just doing some little dots around our tree. And we can just use our Posca pen just to do a bit of gentle highlighting along his back and just use your finger just to gently blend it. And we'll just have a few here. Just a few little bits of highlighting. So I've just stamped the Christmas tree scene in the background just by doing it all in second generation of ink. And that just helps to give us the illusion of trees in the distance. So I've got my verse in place and now I'm just going to ink it up. I'm going to pop a piece of copy of paper over, stamp onto it and then we're going to do it in second generation. And we're going to do that all the way up this side. So we're just going to follow this all, all the way up. I'm now going to use this little foliage that comes with the foliage set one. I'm just going to pop that onto my finger. Still going to be using Shady Lane and I'm just going to now just have a play on some copier paper and a piece of card here just until I'm happy. And then we can just use a piece of copier paper 
and we're just going to pop a few like grass just around the edge here so we're just going to build that all up and we can just do a few that are in first and then we can just build that up just around by that tree just turn my card around there we go and we can add a bit more just like down here I'll probably just add a little bit underneath Magnus a little bit there my black micron pen just to do his eye there we go going to be using elements dollar blue and I'm just going to start to blend this just round the very edge of our card. And now we're going to use a white Posca pen. So I'm just going to put a dot there and some dots here. Just do a few of that grass. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to gently just tap that over So that's created our snow effect. I'm just going to give that a quick dry with a heat gun. And then to finish it all off, we just want to put his eye back in. So put a bit of just using a stardust glitter pen. And we're just going to do some quick lines, just randomly in different directions. And we could just do a little bit on him and on his poos. A little bit on his beautiful antlers. Yeah. And that's the card finished, all matte and layered onto a card blank. And if I lift this up, you'll be able to see all of the little splats from the white Posca pen. 
our beautiful Magnus looking up at the fairy fir tree. I wonder what he has seen. Thank you for joining me. Happy crafting to you all and I hope to see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.